Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Javier. In this video, we're going to share some favorite food spots in and around Vientiane. So these will include some international restaurants as well as a great local Lao restaurant. Stick around to the end and I'll also share with you my favorite taco place in town, which is near and dear to my heart. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and we will get started. This first spot is Il Tavolo Italian restaurant. It's in the Simuan neighborhood and not far from the city center in Vientian. It's a great Italian restaurant and pizzeria. And it's run by a local Italian family that has their roots in Vang Vien before they moved to Vientian. And I believe now they've opened up a new restaurant in Long Praban. So you can get an idea from their menu, their prices, pretty reasonable prices. They serve all kinds of food, including pasta, ravioli. I've heard some great sandwiches. And then, of course, their pizza, which includes the Napoli style pizza. Great stuff. We ordered the ham and mushroom, but we also had the Parma ham and rocket, which is a fantastic pizza. And look at the prices. Great value for the money. The restaurant has a large patio area as well as a nice and cozy interior and the staff is always such a pleasure to work with, warm, friendly, and always happy to entertain any requests. They've also got a pretty healthy selection of Italian pastries and desserts. I've heard that their tiramisu is very good, so we'll have to try that the next time we go. Yeah, they've also got a pretty healthy selection of fruit shakes. We tried the mixed fruit shake, which was pretty tasty. But you can see for 30,000 kip, or about $1.50 US, not a bad deal. So here we're taking a look at their pizza oven. Well, wood-burning pizza, which was built specifically for the restaurant. That's a good-looking pizza. Are you making the, the ham and mushroom pizza? Mmm. So here's our ham and mushroom pizza. Looks fantastic. And where else would you get a large pair of scissors instead of a pizza cutter? I think that's the way to go. Every pizza should have that. This was a really tasty pizza. That's big pieces of ham and some mushroom. Mmm. That's good. This is my favorite pizza because of the, uh, the uh, crust. It's really good. Something about what they put in the, uh, the, the flour, maybe. But to find out what their secret is. There's something pretty unique about the flavor of the pizzas they serve here. They always say a good pizza starts with good water, so maybe that's it. So we've finished our pizza down to the last slice, and I have to say this is just as good as any pizza we've had in the States or even in Italy. So for 185,000 Lao Kip, or just under $10, not a bad deal, would highly recommend. That was great pizza, thank you. This is my favorite pizza in Vientiane. I'll make sure and come back. Oh, great, of course, every time. All right, we'll see you next time. All right, so next on our list of favorite food spots is 389 Watnak. This is an, an, an area popular with expats near some of the embassies of Sokbalong and Watnak. It's a multi-branded complex. It includes different food options and even this distill here on the left, which is a gin distillery and cocktail bar, so kind of a fun place. And they have a neat outdoor patio area. And the complex doubles as a venue, so it can be rented out for special events and what have you. So it's a fun spot. So walking up to distill, the Gen Distillery and Cocktail Bar looks like a fun, cozy space. And they've got a nice menu of various cocktail drinks with local spins. The restaurant itself has a pretty interesting menu with influences from Southeast Asia. Here are some poke dishes as well as different, different types of curries, some influences of Thai, Indonesia, even Filipino food. 
pretty interesting selection. First, we ordered something off the menu called, I believe, Sushi Pun Pun. So this is something like a deconstructed um, sashimi roll, lettuce wrap type concoction. So it was pretty tasty. So it had, we ordered it with salmon and a spicy sauce. And you can see on the side, it comes with a seaweed wrap, sushi rice, uh, lettuce wrap, and some spicy red sauce, along with miso soup on the side. So pretty tasty. And it was quite a mouthful, so it seemed like it was best to take all in one bite. So here we go. <clears throat> they also offer different selections of kombucha which is a favorite of mine, and also gelato and ice cream. So you can see they've got some pretty interesting flavor selections. I opted for the blueberry cheesecake. The blueberry cheesecake cone was uh, creamy and decadent, and following that up with the black tea and mulberry kombucha, which was tangy and sour, which was a pretty good combination. So this was our lunch at 389 Watt Knock, all this for about 217,000 Lao Kip, or just around $10 US. All right, so if you've seen our video on the van life, you've seen us highlight AJ Lanka. They're a Sri Lankan restaurant, third floor of the VNTN Center. They've got a great selection with influences of Indian and other Southeast Asian cuisine. You can see their various curries, the chicken lollipop looks pretty tasty. And also different offerings of your naan breads, your roti, and your paratha. So those look all pretty tasty. This is a great restaurant run by a fantastic Sri Lankan family. And I would highly recommend it. So on this day we had the mutton curry along with some garlic naan and some yellow rice. The mutton curry was rich with spices and curry. It was a great flavor balanced with the saltiness of the garlic naan and the sweetness of the yellow rice. The yellow rice was pretty tasty because it had cashews and raisins. So pretty great combination between the curry and the and the yellow rice. It was all very tasty. And for a price of 140,000 wild kip, we're just over $6. Good. All right, so if you've seen our video on the night market, then this will look familiar. This is Le Vendome. It is a French restaurant located near Wat in Peng in the downtown city center of Yen Chan in an old French colonial building. And I believe it's been in operation since about 1999. So this place serves contemporary French cuisine and some pretty good steaks are on their menu. So this is our go-to for a steak at a good value. So if you're looking for a good steak, this is a great place to come to. They also serve some pretty tremendous salads and some pretty great souffles. In our case, since this is our go-to for steaks, we ordered the steak with black pepper sauce and also the steak with mushroom sauce so for on average about seven dollars you can't go wrong with a steak mm, tasty if you saw our video on Pima Lao or Lao New Year then you got a sneak peek at this 23 kilometer farm cafe it's located outside the city center but it's a great spot if you're looking for some good local authentic Lao or Thai food. You can take in the scenery while you're here. So there's some pretty large grounds that you can walk around and take in the scenery. And you can't go wrong with anything on the menu from the shrimp pad thai to the pad kapow to the various coffees and smoothies that are served. It's all pretty tasty. So if you're on your way out of town or you just want to look for some good local food, this is the place to go. 
Finally, if you're looking for some Chilean or Latin American food, Bacan Cafe is located in the city center of Yangshan. They've got a great selection of various kinds of foods. I believe the owner is from Chile, so there is the Chilean influence, but other kinds of Latin American food as well. I'm from Texas, so tacos uh, are near and dear to my heart, especially breakfast tacos. So we started out with an order of breakfast tacos to try. You can see everything that they've got on the menu. So pretty incredible selection. You can see that Chilean influence in the various foods. We also ordered an order of empanadas to try. You can see that ceviche is there on the menu, as well as the quesadillas. And we finished up with an order of uh, shrimp tacos. We had to try a fish taco and pork taco. So guys, here are the empanadas. Don't those look tasty? And then we've also got our breakfast tacos. Those are huge, so th those could feed a family right there. Again, we went a little crazy with the menu, but we had to try everything that looked tasty. So in my opinion, what makes a good breakfast taco is the mix of the egg as well as their tortilla and the condiments. And this was all balanced perfectly. Good tacos. And then the empanadas were nice flaky with some good pork filling that made it tasty. And you can see the tacos there, the two shrimp tacos, pork and fish. The shrimp tacos were outstanding. So finishing up the tacos with some lime juice and then adding a little bit of guacamole and pico de gallo for flavor. And now trying the taco. So these were definitely in my top 10 as far as tacos. And I've had tacos all over from Texas to California to Florida. So these put a smile on my face. All right, these are some of our favorite food spots around town. Let us know what you think. Drop a comment and share if you have others. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video.